Welcome to another PC Sports Cards PSA submission reveal. This is Josh with PC Sports Cards, and we have a really cool express order that came back. This was submitted on 2.5, entered on 2.25, and popped on 4.14. We got it back, and we are ready to do the reveal. And actually, the first card in the reveal is going to be our first topic of the day. We really wanted to get started early on this one. So, first up, we have a LeBron 2012, which is the first year of PRISM, PSA 9. And we wanted to ask ourselves, are PSA 9s actually a better value than PSA 10s for investments? And if we look at this card specifically, back in January, you're looking at 225 raw, 305 for a PSA 9, and... $2,000 for a PSA 10, 455 PSA 10s, 660 PSA 9s, so more 9s than 10s, so which makes it a very hard card to get a grade on, a good grade on. Yet the PSA 10 value decreased while we saw pretty good bump, 30% bump in PSA 9s and again a 30% bump in raw. So what does that tell me? That tells me that I'm going to start looking at PSA 9s a little bit more as an investment. And it also means that I'm going to start working on a little video set of if I had $1,000, $5,000, $10,000, $25,000 dollars to get started on growing my collection and increasing the value and investing in these cards, what would I be buying right now? So look forward, look, look to that as it comes out in the future. We're going to start doing some research on it and get it put together for everybody. But... Looking at this when we were doing our research, it was really interesting to see a 30% jump and a 5% decrease when it comes to a PSA 10. Shouldn't be that way, but it is. So let's keep our eyes on that kind of trend. So now we have a bunch more cards. We have a lot of Luca rookies in here. We have a lot of cool cards, PSA 9, Luca rookie. Again, this is Express 11. We had a 34% gem rate, 55% mint rate. So, again, close to 90% of the cards are nines or better. Um, have a good mix of cards, bet, baseball, basketball, football, hockey, gaming, everything that's in here. Luca 10 on this one. Kawhi Rookie PSA 10. Really nice card. Big Kawhi fan. So today is Monday, April 19th. I'm recording for tomorrow morning, and it's my birthday. I played a nice round of golf this morning. A lot of people care about that. Pretty happy. Had seven greens. My putting was terrible. Really unhappy with my putting. Um, but my iron play was on fire. It's really good. And uh, came in here, wanted to record this video so we can get these cards shipped out to everybody. I wanted to go through a bunch of the different cards. Harrow we've been talking about a lot lately. This is three of five, so that's a cool card. Uh, but it's a sell. More Harrow coming up. I love these downtown cards. Just like the uh, Color Blast. So I hope everybody had a really nice weekend. Lamella Ball, PSA 10, Prism Draft Picks. It's a really cool Brady white mosaic. So this is a serial numbered card, 15 of 25. By the time he retires, there might be how many rings he's won. David Pasternak. Low grade on this Jordan. Let's see if we can figure out why real quick. This corner is dinged up pretty bad. Tatis Chrome PSA 9. We talked about this the last time. Looks like my Mets are finally getting to play some baseball and winning some games. DeGrom got his first win. Almost had to throw a complete game to get it. In a shocking development, like we always talk about, Topps Chrome Luis Robert. Pink Refractor this time, PSA 10, which what do we do? What do we do with these PSA 10 Topps Chromes? We sell them. Sell, 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 sell them. I didn't say this. If this is your first time watching our videos, we tend to put out two videos a week along with a live reveal every week. If you want to get notified when we put those up, hit that subscribe button. Click the little bell so you get alerts. Randall Cunningham, rookie PSA 8. Topps Chrome Sapphire, one Soto, PSA 9. Three of ten on this one. I love the Sapphire and the cracked ice and stuff like that. Jack Hughes, retro future watch. 
Vlad coming up next. One of those hot, hot starts to the season on the Blue Jays. Doncic Chronicles, rookie. We're going to talk about 9s versus 10s a lot in the coming days and months. And we're going to try to go through a lot of where, where the value is. What are we buying? What are we buying for? So we're going to go through that a lot. Really cool Mahomes, no huddle blue. Number 66 of 75. PSA 10 Charizard. Kobe finalists. The Joker PSA 9, very tough grade for this 2015 Prism, and not a lot of them graded. One Soto PSA 10. I pulled one of these in one of the only retail packs I opened. That was pretty cool. Got a 10, sold it a long time ago. Trout update. Remember, guys, comment below. Let us know what you're thinking, what cards you like, what cards you don't like. If you think people are making good decisions, bad decisions, agree, disagree with what we're saying. Kirilov, blue wave refractor. Interaction is the key for everybody. If you look below, by the way, I didn't mention this and I should have, we have our Instagram, eBay, and Twitter name, PC underscore sports cards, a link to all of our YouTube videos, and a link to our Facebook group if you'd like to join and haven't already. Kellenic coming up next. Is Kellenic still a buy? Yes, Kellenic is a buy. Why is Kellenic a buy? Well, we see a huge jump in the PSA 10s and not a huge jump in the PSA 9s. And while there are 250 PSA 10 Kellenic autos and 334 nines, it's a low pop. There are like four available on eBay at any given time. You never see them come up because everybody's holding. What that means is everybody's holding and waiting for the pop. Wait, that 2000 sale, big sale. You got to be able to get it lower than that. You, if you can buy him in the $1,500 range, buy it all day long. If you could find them in that range, buy them all day long. And as you could tell by this submission, three Kalanix, two nines, and an eight. Groshan's nine. Stupid Mets trading him. Of course, we don't trade our, our rookie outfielders, our prospect outfielders, forever and ever and ever, and they become nothing. And then we trade Kellenic, and he becomes supposedly a top 10 prospect. Mountcastle. This is, while, while this is going to be a shorter video because there's only 130 cards in it, it's also going to be a little bit shorter because once I'm done with this, I get to go home and celebrate with my family. Um... I get to celebrate my 38th birthday. I can't believe I'm 38 years old. That's crazy. Noel B. Marte. Sam Huff, Purple Refractor Auto. Sebastian Aho. I wish I could tell you more about hockey guys. I know that Young Guns in general is a, a relatively easy grade. So I would not really worry about grade as much on these. Svechnikov. There's five Svechnikovs. Four of them, I mean. Two nines, two tens. Got Mitch Marner, PSA 9. Got like eight Mitch Marners in here. And a 10. I had so many young guns that I was like, oh, what am I going to do with these? And I sold them a while ago, and then they freaking exploded. I do have one cool Austin Matthews card left, but that's it. Not much hockey in this world. Kobe White. What are we doing with Kobe White, guys? We are selling. Selling Kobe White. Selling NBA players that are not going to make a playoff run. Kyrie. What are we doing with LeBron James? We are buying. Bye, 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 LeBron James. Sick picture. Even the 8 might not be for me, but PSA 8, PSA 9, Durant, Durant, another one. We're going to make a playoff run. Buy. Buy it now. 
there is still room to make money on these things. Let me also, while I keep on saying there's room to make money and stuff like that, let me remind you, the key facet to what we do is we recommend buying cards that you like. If you don't like the card, if you're not a basketball fan, don't start buying playoff basketball just to get it and try to beat it, right? Buy what you like. Next up, we got a couple Jeets. Both of these are, let me, let me, you know what, let me, we got a bunch. Got three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got nine Jeeters. Seven of them are nines. Let me show you the grade on this one. You got the grade there. You got a nine on this. You got a bunch of them here. But let's talk about Jeter here. Let's talk about this card. To me, the Topps Jeter, while there's a ton of them graded, is a complete buy. A complete buy. Why? Why? Let's look at the nines. Let's look at the tens. Let's look at the value of the nines for the Jeter compared to the foil. The foil is the granddaddy of them all when it comes to Jeter rookie cards. That's the one everybody wants. Stadium Murphy Club, that one's there too. Um, there's a bunch of them, but those are the two key cards. Obviously, there's a lot less tens. That's why the SP foil is so high. There's a lot less nines. That's why it's got a great value. But if we're looking across the board, yes, there is a large gain in this card. It's gone up about... 300% in the last year. That's a big number. 300% gain in the last year. If you talk to any investor, that's a great number. What has the SP foil gone up? Nearly 700%. Now there's less. There's a lower pop. I'd love to look at the eights to see what the eights have gone up. That's probably a better comparison. But what it tells me is there's more money available in the Jeter market. There's a lot of PSA 10s. 50% of these are PSA 9s. 50% of these tops rookies are 9s. Jeter is on fire. His market's on fire. Goat market, move to greatness, all that stuff. Jeter, 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 Jeter. New York Yankees, Jeter. Right? Now, are you going to see absolute massive gains? Maybe not. But do you have the ability to go to 150 to 300 and buy a blue chip player that probably won't go down in value? I'd say that's safe. Especially if we see a little bit of a downward trend on that chart. If that ticks down to like 100 bucks, I think that's a very, very strong buying opportunity. We've seen dips before, and then we've seen jumps afterwards. Personally, if I'm buying Jeter, just like we talked about last week with Griffey and the Donruss card versus the upper deck card, I'm buying this card right now because I can get my hands on a couple of them without a huge risk. And again, referring to what we're going to talk about in a few weeks when we do our research, we're going to talk about cards to buy where you don't have to dump all your money into one thing, diversify a portfolio, get a lot of different cards. But remember the key that I just said again, buy what you like. If you don't like Jeter, if you don't like baseball, if you don't like baseball cards specifically and you only want basketball and football, don't buy it. Go a different route. Use the comparison though. What player is like Jeter? You know, what player is, is like that that might have an ancillary card that has good value? So... Sort of what we look at when we're trying to make some uh, strategic decisions. I think that Topps card is a really good buy. Retro Rookie. We got a Ja. Silver. Lots of PSA 10s there, guys. Hoops Premium Stock. We talk about that a lot. The Genesis, that's just a really cool looking card. PSA 9. Zion PSA 10. Got a good run on Zion's coming up next. We're going to show all the Zion's because it's Zion, the man child. Like I said before, I don't know if they're making a playoff run, but I am a buy on Zion. I'm willing to buy and let it drop a little bit even because I think it's going to be a good buying point when it comes to next year. All right, we got our boy Herbert here with a PSA 9. Tough grade, really tough grade. Remember that. PSA 9 Herberts might be the buy also. Lamello Ball. We have a bunch of Lamello here. I wanted to talk about this. Again, I'll show you all the Lamellos. We have a bunch. We have a silver. Right? 
10, 10, 9, 10. As you can tell by the pop report, out of 197, we're going with the base card because it's the easiest. Remember, we talk about the um, we talk about the card that gets graded the most. We talk about the card that is the easiest card to refer to. We talk about it's called a commodity card. That's how we refer to it because there's just as many of them as possible. 151 tens, 75 percent. 41 nines. You know, that's another. 20%, so 95% are 9s or better. There's only 5 that are less than a 9 or a 10. Very easy grade card. We've already seen the 20% dip from January till now. He's hurt. Um, Prism is out. I would project that this card goes down to $75 as a base card, if not less, by the time the season starts again next year. As we have been all along, we are sellers not only on LaMelo Ball, but anything draft picks, we are immediate sellers of those cards. Immediate. Immediately sell them. Patrick Williams, sell. I don't care. Sell. Every single draft picks card is a sell. Sadiq Bey, there is not really... 25, 25. Cool card. Cool card. You made your money. Sell it. We'll be topping. Anthony Edwards. I didn't even notice this one. This one is here. Fast break blue. Donovan Mitchell. Number two, 175. Very cool card. I like the fast breaks. Jaw Auto PSA 10. And now we have our last topic of the day. We're going to be talking about. Well, is it coming up now? I guess it's this one, huh? Yep, we're going to talk about it now. We have a Jaw Morant PSA 10 here. Morant. Is the raw to nine gap finally closing? I know we're using a PSA 10 here. Um, we see a massive drop in all John Morant prices in the last three months. 50% or more drop in these prices, right? PSA 10 base are now 320. There's much as 350 to 370. We sell one sell for 321 and I put it up there. You know, that's over a 50% drop, less than a 50% drop on raw. A little bit over a 50% drop on 9s. Huge drop on 9s. Huge drop on 10s. Look at that gap of raw to PSA 9. And this card, only 56 to 60% are PSA 10s. You're paying for Super Express bulk grading on this when it comes back out. And you're paying $25, $27, $30. You need to be at a 10. This is back to how it was a couple of years ago. Before the grading got out of control with everybody sending cards in. This is something that we need to track. Very interesting going forward. We're obviously not sending cards in right now. But if that gap closes, that gap closing will be a, will be more of an impact than anything technology-wise PSA can do. Right, That gap closing across the board, if it's all cards, if that gap closes... It's going to be very interesting to see how many people would send in those cards, knowing that you have under a 60% chance at a 10, and knowing that you're losing money if you don't get that 10. Very, very interesting information. I think that's a lot of good information in today's video, if I do say so myself. Kobe White. Cam Johnson, who I really like, but I just don't think he could be the guy. So, you know, we always say, buy the guy. Like, with this should be... Numbered 8 of 10. You know, Booker's there. Aiton's there. CP3 is there. Like, is he going to be the guy ever? Very cool. Trout, Sapphire, Orange. Numbered 17 of 25. Hertz, Mosaic, Silver. This could be a buy card. I think there's upside there. Herbert, 9. Zion, Debut, 10. Very cool. Ichiro Ben Baller. Ermsey Trout. Gotta love the Ermsey. Gregory Sif Trout Rainbow Foil. Gregory Sif Trout Auto. Harrow Variation. All right. Misty's Favor PSA 10. Again, guys, I'm sorry. I don't know a lot about the gaming cards. We are going to end on these gaming cards. 
So if you like this video or even if you didn't like this video and you just want to get alerts whenever we post something, hit that subscribe button, click the little bell, get those alerts. You know, I really appreciate everybody tuning in and watching these. Seeing all the comments makes it worth doing them, getting getting people involved. The lives on Fridays have been great. Going to do another one of those this Friday. Remember, check out our eBay. We have a huge, huge auction going up this week. Check that out. And uh, look forward to making the next one for you guys. Thanks so much. Have a great day.